The fact is, President Trump had every right to peacefully contest the results of the 2020 election. Hillary Clinton did it. So did many of my Democratic colleagues in 2000, 2004, and 2016. The rules are clear and simple. They're written in Article 2, Section 1 of the Constitution and in the Electoral Count Act of 1887. It's how our process works. As a former practicing attorney, I can say there isn't a single shred of evidence that points in the direction that President Trump participated in an insurrection. The importance of constitutional rights and the rule of law, with a focus on references to both the Constitution and the 1,887 election counting law as foundational principles. It highlights instances of perceived double standards or hypocrisy in public discourse, particularly referencing historical situations where Hillary Clinton and Democrats contested election outcomes. The argument underscores the significance of factual evidence in discussions and decision-making processes, resonating with the assertion that there is no evidence to support certain claims. It suggests that democratic proceedings, including challenges to election results, should be conducted within legal boundaries, applicable to all individuals, including Donald Trump, 